two. Once upon a time, in a faraway place, three brothers were walking home. They had traveled a long way each day as far as they could. The brothers had been away from home for two long years. They had worked on huge ships and had sailed around the world. They couldn't wait to get home to see their family and friends. They also wanted to tell everyone about their adventures and describe the interesting people they had met in their travels. But this day, the three brothers were especially tired and also very hungry. As they reached the top of a rocky hill, they could see a small village nestled in a beautiful valley. I hope that we will be welcomed and that we can get a warm meal from a friendly family. I'm hoping for a nice cozy hayloft in a barn. It would be it will be good. It would be refreshing to have a good night's rest. You both are being too hopeful. You know that villagers in this area are often afraid of afraid of strangers. As the brothers came down the hill into the village, they could see the villagers running into their houses. They were gathering their tools and their children. They were bottling their doors and closing their shutters. In no time, the entire village looked, looked as if it were winter. The, bro the three brothers had sat, wait, the three brothers sat in the center of the village in a loud voice. The first, the first brother said, it's too bad that no one's willing to come out to meet us. Yes, brother, I agree. I thought these villagers would want to learn how to make stone soup. Oh, I know they would love it, but perhaps we should share our secret recipe with the next village instead. The villagers heard the brothers talking about this delicious soup. The brothers noticed that a few doors were beginning to open and to open a crack. Some shutters were opening too. The brothers kept talking. If we only had a huge pot, we could start to make our soup. The center of this village would be a perfect place to make stone soup. All of a sudden, the door to one of the nearby homes flew open. Out stepped a young man in his farm. He carried a huge black pot. The tallest of the brothers said, This pot is perfect to make stone soup. It's large enough to make a soup to make soup for an entire village. The young man smiled with pride. Brother, we will, we will collect, collect wooden, wooden sticks, sticks to, to make, make a fire under this fine pot. Will we you fill it with, fill wa it with water from, from the stream? As the brothers left to find wood, the curious villagers began to come out of their homes. They watched from a distance. As the brothers made a fire under the huge pot, finally the fire grew strong and the water in the pot started to boil. Now we must find the perfect stones. They must be round and smooth. Remember, remember, they need to fit perfectly in the palms of our hands. Soon as the villagers were looking for just the right stones, just then a young boy walked to where the pot was cooking and held out his hands. And then there were Three brothers came down to the stones. Together, the boy and the brothers dropped the huge stones into the pot of boiling water. Brothers, the last time we made our soup with that with stones as brown as these, we added salt and pepper for flavor. But since we don't have any, we'll just have to do without it. In no time, a woman with long red hair came walking toward the brothers, handling the salt and pepper to them. The brothers laughed at it, saying that already the soup smells better. A crowd of people began to gather near the pot. Everyone was curious to learn about stone soup. If we only had an onion or two stones, this color makes soup that tastes especially good with onions. But we will not miss what we do not have. Once again, one of the villagers ran to the house and came back carrying six beautiful onions. They too were added to the soup. Brother, I also remember how Carrots added a fine sweetness to our soup when we made it with scones 
that's where the best is. A few moments later, a woman came out carrying ten beautiful carrots. She was followed by another woman who ran to the pot with some diced white potatoes. Everyone was becoming excited and wanted to add something to the soup. The brothers thanked the woman and put the vegetables into the soup. The smell of the soup began to travel above the crowd, huddled near the huge pot. All of the villagers were talking about their good luck. After all, they said, we can always find great stones. Now we can make delicious <coughs> soup from stones. Just then, the youngest brother said quickly, Brother, I mean, while we would thicken our soup and make it fit for our prince, but it, it will no doubt be delicious. In no time, two villagers returned carrying bowls filled with barley. The brothers added it to the soup, and as it was cooking, the soup did seem to have a natural smell. If we added a bit of beef into our soup, it would be fit for a king. Remember, brothers, when the king ate her stone soup flavored with beef? Some villagers ran to get beef to add to the soup. Truly stone soup that would be fit for a king should be flavored with meat. The brothers tried the soup. Soup. It smelled magical. Surely it would taste magical. We want all of you to taste our magical stone soup. But first we might set tables for a great feast. The villagers started to talk to each other. Surely soup fit for a king should be served with bread and a complete banquet. Everyone went home and brought something to the feast. In it was a great night. Everyone enjoyed the magical stone soup. Singing and dancing followed the dinner, and the three brothers were invited to sleep in the villagers' home. In the morning, everyone gathered to say goodbye to the brothers. The villagers also wanted to thank the three brothers. Now that they knew how to make the magical stone soup, they would never again be hungry. The end.